Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Pecron E1000 LFP power station. And before I go on, I just want to let you know, people buy these power stations because for backup emergency, uh, medical equipment, camping, RV life. And when you buy one, you're wanting the best one that will last the longest because you're wanting to get all the power out of a power station that you can. So just like me here at the house, when we have a blackout, I want a power station that's going to run my refrigerator as long as it can without having to hook it to solar, you know, or charge it up off of another power station. And just like this, I have four more pretty much the same exact size. And if you'll hang around towards the end of the video, we're going to compare four more against the Pecron, and we're going to see which one come out the best on running my refrigerator in my kitchen for the longest time. We're going to do the uh, Ops Mega One, the Dapson 1000L, the Ops Exodus 1200, and the Jackery Explorer 1000 V2. They are all pretty much the same size. So we're just going to compare that way you know which one is your best option if you're looking for a longer run time which that's what I'm looking for anytime I buy a power station. So we'll start off that, again, this is the Pecron E1000 LFP. It comes with a registration card. It comes with two years right out of the box warranty. But if you register on their website, you get another year free. So a total of three years warranty on this model. You get your manual, plenty in here. Anything you pretty much want to know. You get your MC4 to XT60 for your solar hookup. You get a lighter port to XT60. That way when you're traveling, you can charge this on the go. You get your AC wall cord. Plugs up to the Pecron here, charge it up from the wall outlets on AC. And it comes with this nice little drawstring bag to put all your cables in. That way you can keep them all together. Now we'll take a look at this and I'll show you the features. This here is the Pecron E1000 LFP, 1024 watt hours, 1800 watt output, continuous, 3,000 watt surge peak power. Nice little unit. It's got a nice looking LCD screen. Here is your on and off button. DC, you hold it in. Show zero watts output. Time remaining, 100% battery. And it shows your battery bars right there. As it decreases, it'll drop down. Hold it in to turn the DC off, AC on. You can hear the fans kicking on. It's showing 68 hours, but there's no draw, so it really doesn't know. And again, right there's your AC icon, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth for uh, your phone app. It does have a phone app, and you can control this from your iPhone or Android. Just turn that off again. You hold it in. Over here is your DC, as you can see. Lift that little dust cover up. You've got a lighter port at 10 amp. You've got an XT60 at 20 amp, which that's pretty good on running little small appliances, coffee pots, or, you know, a, a lunchbox warmer, lights. Right here is a 5525 5 amp barrel port. Down here. You have your 18 watt USB-A, two of them. Right there, you have two USB-C, 100 watt output. Turn the screen back on. Right here, you have five 120 volt output receptacles. And right here, you have your solar hookup, 11 
to 60 volt, 600 watt max. And you have a controller button to switch from 8 amp to 20 amp. That comes in handy right there. But yes, this is a very good looking unit. You've got two handles over here. This is your expansion battery port hookup. 48 volt. Right here is your AC wall outlet cord plug-in. It's a 20 amp breaker. Right here is a ground lug screw port. Your fans to keep it cool. Nothing on the back. Fans again on this side. And you can get this on the Pecron website or Amazon for $3.99. That price has been staying steady. It's got LifePo 4 batteries with 3,500 plus cycles to 80%. And what that means, and I always tell my viewers, brand new if this will run your refrigerator for 10 hours. In 10 years or over 3,500 cycles, it'll just run it for 8 hours. So you don't throw it away. It don't go bad. You know, it just drops the percentage of the battery. But 10 years or 3,500 cycles is a long time, I'll tell you. It has the battery heating, like I said, intelligence. Temp management. It has a UPS function. You can plug this up to the wall. Then let's say plug your refrigerator up to it. And then if the power goes out, this will kick over and run your refrigerator until the power comes back on and is restored or the battery goes dead. But if the power comes back on, it will run your refrigerator plus charge this back up for the next time. So that's pretty good. It's got pass-through uh, charging. You can use this and charge at the same time, which is very good. You want to get that in any power station you get. And for the input, the AC is a, up to 120 volt, 15 amp max, 1000 watts to charge. If you go in the app and put it on fast charging. Solar, like I said, the XT60, 11 volts on the low, 60 volt on the high, 20 amp max, 600 watt uh, solar input. And this uh, can cascade with the EP3048 volt expandable battery, which will make it go up to 4,096 watt hours. So that's pretty impressive. I do just want to show you that this will run a refrigerator. So I've got the cord right here. And as you can see, Turn on the AC. There you go. So if you're looking for something for just a, a half a day blackout, something like that, three quarters of the day, this will run your refrigerator with ease. I'm going to show you that it will run my microwave. Again, this has 1800 watt output. Turn on the AC. Go ahead and hit one. Sixteen eighty five watts, sixteen eighty six. So it will definitely run a microwave, one thousand six hundred and eighty five watts coming out. Now we're going to do the air fryer. If I ain't mistaken, this brings a little bit more wattage. So we'll plug it up. Turn the AC on. And as always, because it's a high wattage, I'm going to do the chicken. Sixteen sixty one. 1662, 63, it's climbing. So 1664, 63. So again, it will run an air fryer, and that's really good for a little unit like this. 
So now we're at the towards the end of the video. And like I said, I run my double door refrigerator test on every power station I get. That way I really truthfully know which one is better as far as the watt hours, how long it will run an appliance. Uh, as everybody knows, when you talk to people or if you watch YouTube videos, everybody always says Pecron is a budget brand. You know, a lot of people talk down about them. I'm going to tell you, Pecron has done great for me. I have several uh, models of the Pecron, but they are a budget brand. So if you're looking to save money, everybody always turns to Pecron. But as far as I'm concerned, they do run good. A lot of people, they'll say, well, I'm going to spend the extra money and let's say get a Jackery or let's get an Oaks or a Dapson or, you know, Echo Flow, whatever it may be. Pecron is a budget brand with a budget price. But I'll tell you what, they do surprise you. I'm curious to know what you put in the comments of which one do you think ran my double door refrigerator for the longest time from 100% battery down to zero. This is why I always do a test on my double door refrigerator because I want to know when I purchase one, which one's going to go the extreme and the longest time. So let's get into it. And I think you'll be surprised who the winner is. In number five, we have the Ops Mega One, which actually is the biggest power station up here. And you would think that it would have lasted the longest. This right now, the making of this video is $449 on Amazon and their website. It's a 1,024 watt hour, exactly what the Pecron is, a 2,000 watt output. This is 1,800 output and a 4,500 watt surge peak power, which this one is 3,000. This one ran my double door refrigerator in my kitchen for exactly eight hours. And I do this on a kilowatt meter. It gives me the exact time right down to the minute. So eight hours on the mega one. That's in number five. Number four, we have the Dabson. 1000L, and I tell you what, I love Dabson. They're built well. You know, this one is doing what it does for its size. No complaints on it. I recommend any of these power stations, I'll be honest with you. But in number four, you got the Dabson 1000L. Today of this making of this video, it's $399, the same price as the Pecron. It has 1,008 watt hours. 1200 watt output continuous and an 1800 watt P boost. And that's where it lowers the volts and lifts the amps. Personally, I don't like that, but as long as you watch it, it ain't no problem. As long as you uh, don't go above that 1200 watt uh, output for uh, sensitive appliances. So this one run my double door refrigerator for nine hours and 22 minutes which is excellent for any of them, I'll be honest with you, even the eight hours, but nine hours and 22 minutes. In number three, we have the Ops Exodus 1200 right here, and it is $349. It has 992 watt hours, a little less, but still in the same ballpark, 1200 watt output, and a 3600 watt peak surge uh, power. It ran my kitchen refrigerator for 10 hours and 30 minutes. So to me, honestly, Oops is a good brand to buy. They're great. I've never had a problem with them. They run flawlessly. Uh, when I first got my first Oops, which was the Mega 5, I had one battery, a uh, bad battery cell. They replaced it with a new one, no problem. It's the only issue I've ever really had with them. And a great customer service at that. In number two, the Jackery Explorer 1000 V2, $488. And that's on sale usually 
These are a lot higher, around 550 to 600, but it's on sale right now for 488. It's got a 1,070 watt hour, 1,500 watt continuous output, 3,000 watt surge peak power. So it is roughly exact. The runtime on this on my double door refrigerator in the kitchen is 10 hours and 31 minutes. So Jackery is a great brand. Personally, I think they're overpriced, but they do run great. Not going to knock them for anything. And at number one, believe it or not, and believe me, I mean, it's all right here. I'm not doing this because this is a video uh, of the Pecron. It's just the truth. Pecron E1000, $399. Same price as the Dapson. Uh, 1,024 watt hour, 18 watt, uh, 1,800 watt output continuous, 3,000 watt surge. It ran my kitchen double door refrigerator for 10 hours and 46 minutes. So we have went from eight hours to 1046. So you're a li little over two and a half extra hours on this right here. And the highest price one here is the Jackery at 488, 399, three years warranty as long as you get on their website and register. So I say everybody's always talking bad about budget friendly power stations. You you need to get an Echo Flow or you need to get a Jackery or a Blue Eddy. This thing right here is just blowing all these out of the water. So like I said, you can't go wrong with Pecron. I have never had a problem with any of my Pecrons as of to date. Uh, I've got a Pecron uh, E1500. And it doesn't get along with my large stand-up freezer. I don't run it on there. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't like it. They don't get along. But other than that, I have no issues with it at all. But I have two E2000s. I mean, I've got the F3000. I've got three expansion batteries. Got this one. Got the E600. I have had no trouble with Pecron at all. I mean, I see a lot of people complaining, mine doesn't do this, or it come and it won't do this. Look, you get problems with every company. There's always a bad one or two, you know, apples in the bunch. It happens. But far as me, I have been lucky. I have not had no issues with my Pecrons. And personally, saving money and the performance they do, I highly recommend Pecron. And this ain't no paid promotion. I bought this right here with my own money. This is my video. So just want you to know that. If you're just looking for a budget-friendly power station that will get you through a blackout, run your refrigerator, a microwave, air fryer, lights, CPAP, oxygen concentrator, anything like that, this right here, this is something to look at. And another thing, like I said before, it's got an expansion battery adapter. My expansion battery, the EP3048 volt, it will hook up to this. You get over 4,000 watt hours. So you can really expand this to do you for a great while, but you can just buy this. Like I said, my refrigerator is 30 years old, very inefficient. You know, look at the time I got on it. So I do recommend Pecron and I do recommend the E1000. So, hey, I just wanted to give you all that information. That way you can see, you don't have to buy a Blue Eddy or a Jackery or an Echo Flow a top tier name, you can get a budget friendly uh, Pecron. They run just as good, if not longer. So I just wanted to show that to you. I thank y'all for stopping by. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not, share the video, it helps the channel. And I do appreciate you being here and watching my content. So thank you, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.